Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet a wonderful bunch of guys I've worked with now for quite some time. I know you're going to love them. Let's have a nice big hand for the Wellingtons. Where are you? Hey, listen. Before you sing three or four hundred songs for the folks out there, I received a telegram before I went on, and I don't quite understand it. It's, uh, it's from Washington, D.C., and it's from the head of the FCC. What is that, the Fairmont Country Club, or what? What is that? <laughs> that's the Federal Communications Commission. Oh, the federal, oh, federal, there? That's right. There? Yes. Well, that's, well, let's see what it has to say. It says, Dear Mr. O'Connor, the FCC has been pressured by the PTA, the KFC, the UJA, and the Sons of Italy about, that's what it says, about the prevalence of violence and crime and the lack of culture and education in TV and movies. Now, won't you join our campaign and help us elevate the entertainment industry? How do you help elevate the entertainment industry, huh? PTA and FCC all definitely do agree that violence and crime have got to go. Now, would you please elucidate? You mean the show should educate our children so the little minds can grow? Is that what you mean? Movies and TV can right the wrongs. You mean fill them full of laughs and full of songs. Westerns must have violence, they insist. But we shall prove that violence won't be missed. Take it, Eddie. Mr. Dillon. You have, huh? Yes, Mr. Dillon. What's been happening? There's a killer just rode in from yonder fort. Is it one-eyed Hogarty? Is it two-toothed Hogarty? Is it three-eared cactus? Is he Rappaport? No, Mr. Dillon. It's not. No, Mr. Dillon. Who is it then? It's had a Andre spider nose McGee. Will you throw the book at him? Will you hang him from a limb? Will you shoot him, Mr. Dillon? No, I'll kick him, Mr. C. I'll be right back. <laughs> Where are we going? Gotta get going to Carnegie Hall To see the one folk singer who really tops them all Who's gonna be there? We're gonna be there What'll be the big surprise? It's Harry Belafonte with big round flashing eyes Why am I... <laughs> I may grow in someday, I don't know. Why am I sad? Why do I feel bad? I left the clothes I had in Jamaica town. I had to stop in a Brooklyn shop for Taylor Sam. He fed me up and down. Oh, Taylor man, oh, Taylor man. You made a boo-boo, Taylor man. I cannot sing one song tonight. Sam, you made me pants too tight. Ah! <laughs> The movie public, the critics, have all gone insane for that physician whose mission is easing your pain. A neurosurgeon who's urgent to operate soon. That's been Casey's too. Patients stay with me. There's a guy that's waiting up in surgery. And I'm in a lot of trouble, cause his vision it is double. And I can't perform an appendectomy. It feels like flubber. <laughs> Button up! I should say not. Button up your jagged bend. Sensors yell at me. I won't cover my chest for the FCC. Button up your jacket, bend. Zorba said to me. But my masculine mink made a star of me. Peace. 
Putting on his top hat, putting on his white tie, putting on his tails. Kids, feet are educated, and we are elated every time he wails. He will leave you in a trance when he enters your dance on air. Culture with romance, are you ready for Fred Astaire? Now, protect yourself. I didn't get a chance to tie my shoelaces back there, and I don't know where the shoes are going to fly. All right, well, here we go. You ready? I'll give you four for nothing, okay? Here we go. Four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. much, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for letting me come out and sing and dance for you. And, and you're just wonderful. Thank you. Good night, everybody. See you later.